There's an infamous star you've likely spotted in the night sky. It's called Betelgeuse, located in the Orion constellation, marking Orion's right shoulder. But something unusual has been going on with this star lately. This red supergiant has been dimming frequently over the past few years, which might indicate that it's on the verge of going supernova. Betelgeuse is approximately 600 light years away from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today left the star about 600 years ago. Interestingly, we don't know its exact distance, but it's in that ballpark. If Betelgeuse had already exploded in a supernova within the last 600 years, the light from that explosion would still be traveling towards us. In other words, it's possible that Betelgeuse has already exploded centuries ago, and we could see the explosion at any time, even tomorrow. When Betelgeuse does go supernova, it will be the brightest one ever seen by humans. So just how bright will it be? Will it be visible during the day? Will it pose any danger? And why do recent observations of Betelgeuse challenge our current understanding of stellar physics? The core of most stars, including Betelgeuse, is made up of hydrogen and helium, the lightest elements in the universe. When the core runs out of nuclear fuel to fuse, it can no longer support the star's outer layers, leading to a gravitational collapse. As the star collapses under its own gravity, it heats up and compresses until the pressure becomes too great. This rapid collapse generates a shock wave that blows off the star's outer layers in a massive explosion. The result is a supernova, which releases an enormous amount of energy and light, sometimes outshining entire galaxies for a brief period. To put this in perspective, our sun has a luminosity, or power output, of 3.8 times 10 to the power of 26 watts. However, a supernova observed in 2015, called Assassin 15LH, reached a peak luminosity of around 2 times 10 to the power of 38 watts. The brightness would be the combined output of over 500 billion suns. But why didn't we see it from Earth, you ask? Well, Assassin 15LH was located in another galaxy. Betelgeuse, however, is in our cosmic backyard. This proximity means Betelgeuse's supernova would be incredibly bright, potentially outshining even Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky, and it would likely remain visible for weeks. However, will it pose any danger to Earth? A supernova occurring within a few tens of light years from Earth would have serious consequences, including harmful radiation exposure. The danger zone for these effects is estimated to be around 100 light years. Fortunately, Betelgeuse is beyond this range, so we are safe from harm. For comparison, if a nearby star like Alpha Centauri, just over four light years away, were to go supernova, it would shine as bright as the moon and expose Earth to dangerous radiation. But Alpha Centauri is not massive enough to become a supernova. While there are other visible red giants that could potentially go supernova, Betelgeuse is currently the most intriguing, and that is why its recent activity has raised concern among scientists. One fascinating aspect of Betelgeuse is its rotation. Recent measurements using the ALMA array of telescopes reveal that Betelgeuse rotates at a surprisingly fast rate for a star of its size, about once every 20 years. This means its surface spins at roughly 18,000 km per hour or 5 km per second, much faster than Earth's rotation. This rapid rotation is unusual for such a massive star and challenges our understanding of stellar physics. But how do you measure the rotation of a cosmic body so far away? We use the Doppler effect. Imagine an ambulance with its siren blaring approaching you. As it gets closer, the sound of the siren seems higher in pitch. This happens because the sound waves are compressed as the ambulance moves towards you. Once the ambulance passes and moves away, the sound waves are stretched out, making the pitch seem lower. This change in pitch due to the movement is known as the Doppler shift. Similarly, for Betelgeuse, one half of the star's surface is moving towards us while the other half moves away, creating a gradient of color shifts. By observing these shifts, scientists can determine the star's rotational speed. For Betelgeuse, this speed was found to be much higher than expected, and scientists are now beginning to believe that the reason behind this speed could be a grand cosmic phenomenon. One theory to explain this anomaly is stellar cannibalism, where Betelgeuse might have absorbed a companion star, gaining additional angular momentum in the process. Betelgeuse contains far more nitrogen in its outer atmosphere, which is a sign that its interior has been mixed recently, indicating that something happened to the star to spin it up 
Putting these pieces together, astronomers recently performed a systematic and careful analysis of the intriguing possibility that Betelgeuse did not start off as a single star, but is instead the product of a collision. As the supergiant star aged, its atmosphere extended to the orbit of its companion. Scientists performed a simulation that revealed the companion star's gravity funneled that material onto itself, increasing its own mass. Eventually, the companion started swimming through so much material that this caused friction, slowing the companion and drawing it inward. What happened next depended on a variety of factors, including the speed of the companion, the star's relative masses, and how much of the primary star's atmosphere had been extended. The influx of new material from the companion star disrupted the helium core, briefly returning the newly merged star to a hydrogen core fusing stage. Simulations show, however, that this didn't last long, and the newborn Betelgeuse soon became a red supergiant again. Unfortunately, direct evidence for this scenario won't be easily apparent until Betelgeuse explodes into a supernova. Another possibility is that the observed rotational speed of the star is an optical illusion caused by the star's turbulent surface. Recent observations using advanced telescopes have revealed that Betelgeuse's surface is not smooth but rather bubbling with intense activity. These surface bubbles are actually massive convective cells, regions of the star where hot plasma rises and cooler plasma sinks, creating a dynamic, roiling surface. The bubbling or convective activity on Betelgeuse's surface causes variations in temperature and brightness. These variations create shifts in the color of the light emitted from different parts of the star. Essentially, the surface's turbulent motions can cause parts of the star to appear redder or bluer depending on whether they are moving toward or away from us. This color gradient caused by the turbulent convective cells might have misled astronomers into thinking the star is rotating faster than it actually is. By observing these shifts in color and brightness, scientists infer the rotational speed of the star. To better understand whether this bubbling is indeed creating the observed color gradient, or if there are other explanations, astronomers are focusing on obtaining higher resolution images and more detailed data. This will help clarify if the rapid rotation is a true phenomenon or an optical illusion created by Betelgeuse's tumultuous surface. Every time Betelgeuse shows unusual activity, we start speculating about it potentially exploding as a supernova. It would be fascinating if that happened in our lifetimes. Since we're far enough away to be unaffected, it's exciting to think about the sky glowing brightly for weeks. As for the win of it, that's a mystery that keeps us gazing up at the night sky with anticipation. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to T because this is your space.